On Abbas Hussain here from fighthype.com and I'm here with Ben Davison. Ben, I've seen you the last couple of weeks in your long course looking well dressed and today they've stuck you in a tracksuit. I oh, know, I know. I, uh, do you know what? The truth is I actually did have a different outfit on and uh, the tracksuits turned up and I thought oh, I better put them on. I saw you outside and you were doing interviews and you were freezing. It's a cold day today but we're here at the Stevenage Football Club, the Lamex Stadium. Um, Billy Joe Saunders headlining. First of all, let's talk about the fight. Billy Joe Saunders moving up to super middleweight. Talk to me about that. Yeah, it was uh, it was a fight and decision that had been made before uh, me and Billy Joe had uh, started working with each other. And um, looking forward to the test. You know, he's uh, number one with the WBO. Come down from cruiserweight, uh, and hopefully we can uh, get this one out of the way put on a fantastic performance and uh, go from there. Let's, let's just get something right before, you know, people talk about Billy Joel coming back to Ben Davidson, but you've always sort of worked together right, in the last couple of years, there's always been work between you guys. Yeah, we've always worked together, but back, I've never, back's not the right word because I've never had a, a proper camp with Billy Joel. I uh, sort of stepped in last minute to help him out in the situation because we've, we've worked together for many years on a technical aspect. But, you know, I've done the same working with him going into the Andy Lee fight and many other fights. And, um, you know, this is uh, the first time that I would have had Billy Joe to uh, to do things my way. Where, where do you rate Billy Joe as, as a sort of a, a fighter, a technical fighter? You know, he put on that David Lemieux performance and it was phenomenal. I think the world was talking about it and sort of his career sort of dipped with unfortunate circumstances. But where do you rate him amongst the middleweight, super middleweight region? He's one of the best in the world, um, if not the best. At middleweight, I believe that he's the best. Super middleweight, um, we'll find out, see how he looks against uh, Shifat Sufi, but we'll see what opens up. Ideally, Billy Joe is a middleweight, you know, there's no two, two, two ways about it, but it, um, it depends on what opportunities open up, and I don't blame him. I don't blame because if I was a trainer and an advisor, I wouldn't say go fight Billy Joe Saunders. Definitely not. So, you know, it's just an unfortunate situation, and uh, it is what it is. But uh, hopefully, we can uh, we can get things made. Is it the right time to move over to super middleweight? Because we've seen two big fighters in that division sort of retire. James DeGale, who was the IBF champion, great champion, and then we had George Groves as well. They both retired, so it sort of leaves a gap for somebody to step in. And we know Callum Smith's there, and we know he's sort of the number one. But there's someone else sort of challenge him. Yeah, there's also that Caleb Plant. There's some good fighters at super middleweight, you know. And um, this is Billy Joe's first test at super middleweight. Um, and we'll see. We'll see how the land lies. Like I said, I've uh, just said they the ideal to, to get a big fight at middleweight. But it's always going to be a difficult one for Billy Joe. Obviously, you've got Tyson Fury in camp as well. You have Billy Joe. You've got two big personalities, big characters. Um, how, how do you deal with both guys? Um, do you know what? In the gym, they're, they're very easy to work with. You say do this, they're going to do it. Uh, unbelievable talents. Um, and they work well together. Bounce off. They want the best for each other. So it uh, makes for an easy, easy day's work. Outside the gym, they just need a little bit of steering in the right direction. Ben, have you grown with your job with Tyson Fury as a, as a trainer, as a person, as a motivator to these fighters, seeing that, you know, Bill, ha Bill has had some problems in the past outside the ring. Is it uh, sort of an obligation on you to sort of put your arm around him, be like a fourth figure, or push him towards the right direction so, he's, so he, he looks better in front of the media and also in, in the ring? You have to speak to him about that. That's not really for me. I'm his trainer. Um, obviously, all together, he's got fantastic management in MTK and uh, Frank Warren, promoter. So everybody will do their best to put him back on the right track.